Hey, what is going on buddies? Welcome back. My name is Beaker and today we're talking about the ultimate dirty card in Clash Royale Mortar! <laughs> I mean Expo or Mortar. It, it's it's a pretty close tie But I think the Mortar is the dirtiest card in Clash Royale for a lot of reasons And we're gonna talk about those today and we're gonna talk about why do we hate the Mortar so much? Is it because it's really an overpowered card or do we just sort of hate how it works? I'm gonna say right now, I think it's a combination of both. I do think the Mortar is a very powerful card and we have some great examples for you guys right here. Uh, case in point, we got a level 9 player going up against my clanmate Tin, who is a level 6 player. And you guys are gonna be amazed at how well Tin defends and crushes this guy's towers. I mean, th this is this is an absolute just... I don't know, what do, what do you call it? <laughs> Butchering or uh, shutout. Shutout is a good term for this. You guys will see. So right here, you look at the defensive capability of this deck, this crazy mortar troll deck, and it's not just the mortar. It's the buildings. It's the <laughs> bomb tower. Then the inferno tower he also has, and the cards as well. When you use defensive buildings and then you also drop barbs or the little skeletons, the one elixir skeletons, you're going to defend like a boss. I mean... How is somebody going to get through a group of buildings? Well, they're not going to get through it very easily. So, we're going to keep watching, guys. Looks like Tin has gotten down to 740 hit points. <laughs> On a level 9 player, even before overtime. He's not even in overtime yet. So, you know, when the mortar locks on, it's on. So, I feel like the problem with this guy is uh, he wasn't really ready to defend against the mortar. Number one. And he has all these big cards. And third... He keeps throwing them right into the defenses. He just threw a golem right into the Inferno. And we kind of know. Infernos are bad for your health if you're a if you're a golem. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna keep going here. Looks like it is double elixir overtime now, and Tin is just still raining. Just raining death. And I think that's it, man. I think that right there is the reason that people do not like the mortar. It's because you can basically be in two places at once. You can be defending and attacking at the same time now does that make sense not really it doesn't really make sense that you can be a defender and also hit the tower so i'm surprised that they put the expo and the mortar into the game as is i'm i'm just surprised when i first used the mortar i didn't think it could hit the other side i, I saw somebody do it against me and i was like what i mean you guys probably did too and same with the expo i was like what it can snipe towers yeah sure can so there we go, Tin gets the right side with a troop. Ah, nice. Finishes off with a troop. And over here, it just got like dirty 3.0. Bunch of mortars, defenses. <laughs> That's right, I remember that now. He almost got both towers. And Cal, that guy, he got no towers. Not only did he get no towers, he got no hits on the towers. So huge shutout that I've never seen anything like it from a level six player. Now a little background on Tin here. Tin has made it up to uh, about 2,600 trophies as a level six player. That's pretty solid. Now the question is, is that because of the mortar or not? Could he have done it without the mortar? I don't know. I think the mortar is a very strong, along with everything else he has, I think it's a very strong card right now. So that brings us back to the initial question. Does the mortar need to be nerfed? I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments below what you think. I've heard a lot of amazing ideas on the ways that the mortar could be changed to make it a little more manageable. And we'll go over those uh, in a little bit. Look at this, man. Oh, boom! <laughs> Three Musketeers get wrecked. Three Musketeers can get countered so easily. And considering they cost nine elixir, ugh, that's not good. So, uh, Blackjack tries to fireball the mortar there, and that takes a little bit of health off, but Tin still gets some shots in. But surprisingly, Blackjack is in the lead here. Word. Blackjack's doing good. So this is kind of a good example of how, you know, you can beat a mortar jack. Of course, we've all done it, but it's tough. It's definitely tough to beat anybody who has multiple defensive buildings, including the mortar. Yeah. So anyway, what were we saying? Oh. Possible options of ways to change the mortar to make it more fair or, or reasonable. One of my favorites is just lower the range. Just lower the range. Look at a bomb tower. Like if the bomb tower threw it like a like a quarterback, threw it all the way down the field, you'd be like, what? Well, that's kind of what the mortar is right now. It's a bomb tower that just hucks it. So 
How about we lower the range? Chill, chill it down a little bit and make, make it so the mortar can only reach just in front of the tower. Therefore, it's a defensive building only and you can still do a bunch of great stuff with it. You can snipe enemy defenses. You can hit enemy troops. It's just a defender. It's, a, it's a sort of like the bomb tower. That's one of my favorite ideas as far as uh, changing the mortar. Let me know what you guys think. Um, some of the other things I was thinking about were, um, okay, some, some things that are already in the game. So, well, first, a thing that's in Clash. You know how when in Clash, people used to, people used to lightning dark elixir all the time in Clash. So we complained enough and they changed it. They made it so you can't steal resources with lightning. Okay, simple. What if a mortar round just bounces right off the tower? Just saying. Or a game mechanic that is already in Clash Royale, the mortar is like a fireball. It does reduce damage. So again, you guys have probably heard this before from other producers, these same ideas um, that I think they're on everybody's mind that, that thinks maybe the mortar could use a little changing. And I don't think these things would put the mortar out of business, you know? Mortar doesn't get used that much as it is, really. So I, I think maybe improving it in some ways and making it a super defensive unit, not that we need more of those, but <laughs> still, I think it needs to remain in the game. Let me know what you guys think. So, you know, who knows? Who knows if they're gonna, if they're gonna make any changes whatsoever. It's probably gonna come down to how many people use it and how many people get wins. But I think we've got some great examples right here level six player crushing higher level people boom there we go again <laughs> round two boom wait do it oh i was trying to like do it right at the same time boom all right cool so anyway that's it we got one more guys round three can tin get three people down that are that are considerably higher level than him i don't know we'll see you'll notice the last two people that he faced were kind of uh they had like higher they had expensive cards. That's what I'm trying to say. And expensive cards are good. They're strong. They usually have good hit points, stuff like that, but they're usually slow. Or at least when you drop them, you're broke. You have no more elixir. And I think that sort of doesn't work as well against the mortar. You wanna keep your elixir up if you're trying to face the mortar, just in case you gotta counter it, you know? And you wanna have something good, like the minion horde is it's probably one of the best to counter. Anyway, I'm just rambling, but uh, th there's of course ways to take on the mortar that are better than others. And the ones we've seen today, they pretty much didn't take it on as as good as they would have liked to. <laughs> Let's say that. So on this one, Tin is definitely pushed back on the defense. Look at this. He already is down to 1270 on his left tower. Now he's only level six, so that's only a couple hits, <laughs> but still. He's already down and he's definitely on the defensive. You'll notice he's putting his defensive buildings way back. Normally he's way up front with that mortar, trying to protect the mortar. Right now he's just trying to protect himself. So kind of interesting to see that switch. And with this deck, you can kind of just trench yourself in if you need to. You can fall back into this like, <laughs> you know, like, and, and all of a sudden you're doing this like combat with the other guy, you're shooting Right now, he's shooting his elixir pump, taking that out. So, you know, pretty versatile with the dirtiness here. There we go, that is super, woo, yeah. Taking out that golem like nothing. So, you know, it goes on and it's just so hard to get past this stuff. You can see uh, the princess there is trying to snipe some buildings. Good idea, try to snipe them and then do the push. But with this guy's cards, I don't think he could ever get by the bomb tower even. I mean, look, he has barbs. And he has the skeleton, what's that, what's that group of skeletons called? I don't ever use it. Anyway, skeleton army. Dude, it's going to get crushed by that bomb tower and so are the barbs. Barbs get wrecked by the bomb tower. It, I think bomb tower is the most efficient against barbs. It just crushes them. So, you know, there it is again. They're getting wrecked. <laughs> so the bomb tower alone is, is pretty OP. I wonder if they're going to change the bomb tower ever. I feel like the bomb tower lasts a really long time and I've heard other people say that and uh, I think it's it's damage is, is okay, but it's fast, shoots fast, it does great damage and it lasts a while. So maybe that'll be changed someday, I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Uh, oh, nobody's gotten a tower yet, that's right, okay. So Tin has to make a push on the right side, but he's already gotten quite a bit and it's sudden death. So the next 
tower wins. I think he's going to go for that right one. What do you guys think? <laughs> so he counters with a musketeer. Boom, boom. Yeah, face off. What's up? Uh, yo. Uh, the guy had a princess left, but Tin always has something to defend. Whether it's the, the mini skeletons or the zap or the barbs. And he does it. He defended the princess. Now the barbs are coming, but he's going to wreck them. And he's got a mortar on the right. And this guy's ignoring the mortar? Probably a bad idea. Okay. <laughs> That was my foul shot. Woo! Anyways, buddies, that is it for today's Mortar Troll Showcase. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, I named this video Do Not Use This Deck, and frankly, I don't... You guys, you know, I, I don't hate anybody for using any cards. I don't care. But I definitely don't want to face you guys with this deck. So, if you're using this deck and you find me, um, let's both just uh, not drop any cards and we'll let it be a draw. All right, wink, wink. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know. Peace.